Your Excellency, Dr. Benson Ibana, Designate High Commissioner of the United Republic of Tanzania to Ghana with residency in Abuja, Nigeria. Distinguished keynote speakers, dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, allow me at the outset to thank the organizers of this Tanzania Ghana Tourism Investment and Trade Forum for inviting me to deliver short remarks at this opening session. This is actually the second time I'm addressing this kind of gathering for investment and trade promotion in a sister country of West Africa since I was appointed the Minister of Foreign Affairs and East African Cooperation of the United Republic of Tanzania a year ago. I wish to commend the High Commission of the United Republic of Tanzania accredited to the Republic of Ghana for making this forum a reality. On a special note, no, what I want to thank His Excellency, Dr. Benson Bana, for this commendable initiative in enhancing our economic diplomacy. Your decision to organize this event is a gesture of a long established friendship and cooperation between our two countries and on the need to forge a partnership with the business communities and people at large for our mutual benefits. On behalf of the government of the United Republic of Tanzania, and indeed on my own behalf, I wish to welcome you all and express our sincere appreciation for honoring our invitation to participate in this forum. Your presence is a clear testimony of the excellent Tanzania-Ghana relations. We therefore take your participation very seriously with the belief that this forum will be a stepping stone for forging greater partnership with tourism, trade, and investment between our two countries. Excellencies, distinguished keynote speakers, ladies and gentlemen, I bring with me warm and fraternal greetings from our Excellency Samia Sluhansan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania and the people of Tanzania. Our Excellency, the President was in Accra a few days ago for another engagement with the African Development Bank and she's very aware that this forum is taking place today. As you might be aware, since assumption of office one year ago, Our Excellency the President has been very clear on our government commitment to create conducive and friendly environment for trade and investment in the country, both for local and foreign prospective investors. The President urged all government officials, including ministers, to play a leading role in attracting foreign investments in the country and removing obstacles or hurdles to doing business in Tanzania. As I stand here today, I can with confidence say she has walked the talk and lived the expectations of many investors and the business community in and outside the country. It is therefore not surprising that this forum enjoys the full support and blessings of Our Excellency the President and the Government of the United Republic of Tanzania as it will enhance further our economic cooperation and partnerships. Excellencies, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, this forum takes place at a time when our countries, the African continent and the world at large are recovering from the unprecedented pandemic, namely the COVID-19 that has caused human suffering and crippled our economies. Its devastation to humanity calls for joint effort among countries, regions, and global communities as one family to contain and address challenges brought by this pandemic. It is in this regard that I commend this initiative taken by our High Commission, because apart from bringing our two business communities together, this forum aims at recovering from the impacts of the pandemic, the COVID-19, and keeps business going. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the United Republic of Tanzania and the Republic of Ghana enjoy excellent and historical relations. History reminds us that prior to colonialism, our people were closely interacting through trading and other social and cultural activities. These relations were further strengthened after independence through regional groupings and the continental body, the African Union, and its precursor, the Organization of African Unity, the OEU, 
which consolidated the foundation of friendship upon which our countries and people are enjoying today. Our task, therefore, with the governments and the business communities is to solidify these relations and work hard to enhance them in all aspects, including trade and investment. It is a fact that trade and investment is yet another area that Ghana and Tanzania have a potential to cooperate. This forum will provide a platform to Ghana, Tanzania private sectors to share experiences, forge networks, identify opportunities and challenges on the ongoing business and trade. Dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, I will be preaching to the converted if I reiterate why you should invest and do business in the United Republic of Tanzania. Let me underscore the fact that why it sounds like obvious that Tanzania is a peaceful and politically stable country, this is a critical factor for investing in Tanzania. We are young, vibrant, smart part democracy. We uphold the tenets of good governance. We respect human rights and the rule of law. The fight against corruption and the other vices in the society is an unwavering commitment of the government. The United Republic of Tanzania has worked so hard for over two decades now to put in place a very conducive investment environment. It has opened its door wide for anyone interested to bring capital and do business. It offers a wide range of investment incentives just like several other popular investment destinations in the world. And some, in some respects, it's even more generous and attractive. Similarly, investors who wish to set up business in Tanzania are facilitated in key issues related to company registration, related to immigration, to labor, to land, to business license and tax through a one-stop center, namely Tanzania Investment Center and also the Export Processing Zones Authority and the Zanzibar Investment Promotion Authority whom I believe will be participating in this forum. Currently, the government of the United Republic of Tanzania is reviewing the investment regime, is reviewing its policies, registration, and institutions aimed at improving ease of doing business in Tanzania. This is in addition to other steps which intend to remove cumbersome bureaucratic procedures for investments. Dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, to an investor, market access is key. Investing in Tanzania guarantees access to a market of more than 300 million people in Eastern and Southern Africa, in which Tanzania enjoys preferential trade arrangements by virtue of being a member of the Southern Community and Southern Africa Development Community, SADIC. These credentials augur well with Tanzania's strategic location, which makes it the gateway to the feist and the world at large. It will be a miss of me if I not talk about the opportunities the African continental free trade area is creating. Noting that the African continental free trade area, whose secretariat is hosted here in Accra, aims at eliminating import duties by 97% and boost the African intra trade, Tanzania region, the regional groupings, and the African continent as a whole is expected to benefit from the African continental free trade area, through the single market for goods, services, and the movement of persons to deepen the economic integration of the African continent. Wish to inform you that Tanzania deposited the instrument of ratification of the African continental free trade area on the 9th of September 2021, meaning last year. In this regard, allow me to say that this forum has really come to an, at an opportune moment where the vibrant Ghanaian private sector is expect, expected to play a leading role in the implementation of the African free continental area. They cannot be Africa continent free trade area without the full participation of African economic operators, namely the private sector players who have to operationalize 
the African continent of free trade area. Dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, Tanzania is a well-known tourist destination. It's the land of Kilimanjaro, it's seven guests and Zanzibar with more than 20 national parks, including the famous Serengeti and Ngorongoro, with 231 game reserves, 42 game controlled areas, 33 wildlife management areas, six natural, natural reserves, and six wetland sites. The country's wildlife resources are well known and considered among the finest in the world. Seven of Tanzania's sites are inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Tanzania, before COVID hit, received more than a million tourists annually. With such a number, and the only realization that we need more tourists to boost our economy, the government is focused in attracting high-income tourists who are less likely to spoil the culture and the natural environment. Tourism being the most important sector for the economy of Tanzania, Our Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan is in the forefront promoting Tanzania tourist attractions through the Tanzania Royal Tour film, which was premiered on the 18th April this year, 2022, in New York City, and on the 21st April this year, 2022, in Los Angeles in the United States. This film tells it, tells it all about the beauty of Tanzania and the wide range of tourist destinations in the country that you will not regret either to visit or invest or explore. So in the interest of time, allow me to say that Tanzania enjoys an abundance of natural wealth which offers tremendous opportunities for investors and business people, as I've just mentioned some of them. Apart from these opportunities, distinguished participants, dear potential investors, the United Republic of Tanzania has also embarked on the following mega projects that are destined to promote business and investment in East, Central, and Southern Africa. These projects include the Standard Gauge Railway project, expansion of our ports, expansion of our airports, construction of the mega Julius Nyerere hydropower project, construction of the East Africa crude oil pipeline, also known as Uganda-Tanzania crude oil pipeline, stretching from Mohima, Uganda, to the port of Tanga in Tanzania. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to invest in the United Park of Tanzania, whose business and investment environment is very friendly. Please feel free to call on my ministry, including the High Commission, as a vehicle of challenging, of channeling any concerns you might have on improving our invest relations or in keeping us abreast of the success you record. Our government is charged to work as a team, as one, and we want to see you all succeed. So this is actually the renewed spirit of the new government the president wants us to see. Come one, come all, Karibuni sana Tanzania. I thank you for your kind attention.